this is Steve Melvin, Extension Educator with the University of Nebraska Extension. And today I'm in one of the soybean management field day sites where we're interseeding some cover crops into our soybeans. The idea here is that if we can make it work in corn, maybe we could also make it work in soybeans. Of course, a couple of the challenges are soybean canopy gets very dense here before very long and can they survive underneath that canopy until the soybeans drop their leaves and then also how will far harvest affect the cover crop. Now that we're back in the studio, let's take a look at the drill we were using. It is manufactured by Henniker and has a central hopper which is convenient for filling. The seed metering mechanism can either be hydraulically driven or with a 12 volt circuit. It has a fan that generates the airflow needed to deliver the seed from the metering mechanism out to the openers, which is hydraulically driven. The seed tubes then move the seed from the metering mechanism with air out to the openers. With this setup with the central seed hopper, you need to combine all of your seeds together in the mix. Then it'd get the air adjusted correctly to move the large seeds without overblowing the small seeds or the fluffy ones out of the seed furrow. The openers are attached to a simple spring-loaded swing arm mechanism. The openers are a double disc opener followed by a small wheel that firms the soil and provides depth control. The swing arm must run level when you're in the field so the ratio between the depth gauge wheel and the opener is correct. The seeder does a nice job of minimally disturbing the residue in the soil while placing the seed into the soil. The opener did make a nice seed V to place the seed in and worked very well. This summer we have replicated interseeding studies in all four of our soybean management field day sites and we're looking forward to the results and sharing them with you later on.